Hello, Internet people and space people. It's just Steve from Green Legion. I used to play the hell out of this game, EVE Online. I kind of still do, but not nearly as hard. And one of the main facets of it that gave, gave me a whole lot of income and pretty much fueled where I am today in this game is PI. A lot of people don't know what PI is. That is planetary interaction, but I call it passive income. I don't have anything built yet, but you would build structures on planets. They would extract raw materials, refine those into things, and you could take those things and combine them into things and sell any of those things on the free market that this game does have, enabling you to make a lot of money while you're not really doing anything with it. So... <sighs> All the death. We need to check out first the base skills you would need to do this. Planet management. Interplanetary consolidation is how many more planets you can do. By default you can put down a command center on a planet so each one of these will get you another up to six. Command center upgrades will expand the fitting space of your command center if you've played this game, or maybe if not, if you played Dust 514, there was that CPU power grid setup. It's the same thing with the command center. What is this one? Oh, the resource density scans we'll be looking at later that this skill gives it a more exact readout. That's how far away you can scan planets. And even more advanced skill quality, eh, scan quality. So those skills have requirements, etc., etc., like all skills in this game. But if you picked an industrialist, you should have the base skills to do this already. So to actually set out to do it, you would need to first figure out what kind of product you want to make. So you'd also need to figure out what type of planet you are going to need to make these things. And you are going to need to purchase some command centers. They sell for roughly 81000 a piece at an NPC market. These are just area average prices, so don't trust that. You will need a cargo ship of some kind with at least 1,000 M3 in the hold. If you just started the game and can't really do much, a probe or a magnate, if you put max cargo expanders on it, can fit 1,000 in the cargo hold. So, we have our command centers. I have a cargo ship ready to go. I did... Since I'm going to go into low sec, I've already scouted out the area, and this low sec system is unpopulated, has a not too high tax rate on the POCOs, the things you're going to need to go to to get your stuff on and off the planet. And I'm going to go set up there, but I put a cloak on my ship because you need to float in space for a second while you're placing these command centers. You may or may not be able to do that soon into the game. <laughs> But off we go. Oh, another ship that'll be important in the process of this will be the Epithal, another Galente industrial ship. It is specifically built to carry the resources on and off of these planets. So if you cannot fly them, you're going to have a hard time if you have a whole lot of stuff you're moving around. Now we're in space. So we would assume at this point, as I had said, that you've already figured out what you want to do, how to do it. I will put a link in the video of a tool that I use to help me figure out what I can do with available planets. 
Oh, I hit a line, not warp. That might help. Let's go. Those of you who are new and have not moved out of high sec into low sec, there is a good chance that somebody might be waiting on the other side of this gate to kill me. So we're going to find out the hard way. But that's why I have the cloak. Granted, they could still just ram into me. And now we're jumping to the adjacent solar system. If we... Two people here. Nobody on the gate that I'm aware of. So let's slowly go towards the gate and turn our cloak back on. So, all right. Once you are at your drop off location, you want to pull up the planet itself or the solar system itself's information and pick a planet you want. Right click it, view in planet mode. It'll take you to the world. Hit scan mode and it will give you color coded readouts of where item densities are on the world. This little slider bar will increase how strong the readout is, but I only ever move it to about there. Because it's much farther than that and it's kind of lying to you. Like, this planet's not that great in the grand scheme of things. We can make it look like it is wonderful, but it is not. And these things would be refined into other things. I am interested in getting some suspended plasma to make into plasmoids. So... We need to place the command center. Done thusly. You always need to submit and apply the changes. Some of the things we're going to be building cost a little bit of money to build. So once you have the command center placed, as long as you have that remote sensing skill that lets you do things from a distance, you don't even have to be in the solar system to do any other operations on the planet. So. Oh, yeah. Right click. I'm going to drop my other command centers. Ugh, maybe not on this one. more spread out but a bit more dense that'll work I do have interplanetary consolidation four so I can set up five planets that's not good oh it was a cargo ship everything's fine just fine So I'm going to set up two worlds to extract plasma, and hmm, maybe just this one to get water. No, it's really spread around. Two to get water, and I will make a fifth planet. You don't have to do it this way, but I will use the fifth planet for the production of the items. Ideally, doing this in high sec would be not cost effective. So we'll check out that storm world again. So I wasn't looking for water initially. Oh, there's the one I already built on. That's convenient. Uh, I go 
this just for variety. I'll make the factory the lava planet. Oh yeah, I don't need to scan. I don't care. So, I got my command centers placed. I'm still approaching that gate because I'm in a dumpy slow cargo ship. What's some, uh... Oh yeah, I forgot. The cloak reduces your speed. I did that on purpose, but forgot it would make it take a while. Let's overheat this afterburner and get out of here. Damaged my shield unit. Whatever. All right, the ship's gonna dock and we'll start where we started. Oh yes, this menu I have, Planetary Colonies, by default it is not in your sidebar. You need to go over to Business and drag it and pop it in there, and you will have that button. A good button to have if you intend to do this. So, I needed plasma. There is some plasma. You have your command center, but unless you intend to do planetary launches from it, you don't need to link the command center together with the other structures. Um, yeah, I guess we'll start with the extractors. These are what will be pulling the resources out from the world. You don't want to build anything on your desired resource, but the circle is the reach of the extractor heads we'll be putting down. So I'm going to stick it in this thin spot over here so I can get it both sides. Oh yes, command center upgrades is needed, so we'll assume that I can do level three and that will give me more power grid and CPU fitting space. Creaky seat, excuse me. So we have our extractor. Some people will debate this, but I, li I like always to send my extracted stuff to a storage facility of some kind. And then to the launch pad. going to need some basic processors to refine that stuff. You also do want to keep everything not completely but as snug as possible because the linkages you need to put between the buildings will take up power grid and CPU as well. So, we have our extractor, which will go to storage, which will then send things to refining, and then you can route it directly to the launch pad to get it off the world. And we did not link anything yet, so you're going to need to create link, create link, again, and again, and again, and again. I left free space on purpose because we did not actually start extracting anything. So. Mm, might not be able to go mad. 
Max heads on this one. I can't. Hmm. We'll go with just that for now. And then the color coded readout obviously is how dense a certain material is in a given area. I like to set my extraction cycle for four days, three hours. That is the threshold before it turns and it is a one hour cycle. How long it takes to have output or it turns into two hours to get a decent amount more, but it's only once every two hours. Your processors only take a half hour to process something. So if I can get a lot in twice the time it takes those hopefully the refinement won't run through the supply before the next extraction comes through so you don't want to try to balance that out as best as possible so i got my time set i need to get everything on the hot spot to milk it for what it's worth while i can so once i mine this out it will be thin gray not good quality anymore gray green <laughs> and i almost did it and make sure you guys don't make sure you install program then submit if you submit it'll place those but it won't set the program you're gonna have to reset the time and maybe move some of them whatnot so, getting to the fun funness of routing. This refinery is, or extractor is making something now, so it needs to be routed to the storage facility. So now that stuff will be showing up there. We are making suspended plasma. So, plasmoids, right? Yes install the blueprint it needs to go somewhere so create a route for it to the launch pad so once it's done it's ready to be exported i'm gonna hope i don't mess any of the rest of these ones up action packed i know <laughs> No product yet. Now this does seem like a horrible, tedious mess, but the catch with this is, is once you have it set up and running, I can walk away from it for four days, three hours, and all of a sudden I'll have a pile of final product that's worth a chunk of money with no real effort. So while you're at work, while you're asleep, while you're at school, while you're doing something else in this game, this is generating profit. The spice must flow. So, things that are linked together, you'll see a little faint orange circle around them. So the extractor is linked to the storage. The storage is not doing anything with the factories yet. And the factories are all linked to the launch pad. So, you need to go to routes and get the suspended plasma that's coming in and route that to the factory. And again, do that multiple times over for each of the factories. Whoops. Got ahead of myself. So now the extractor goes to storage, the storage goes to the factories, the factories go to the launch pad, and tomorrow there should be some goodies waiting for me. So that that is PI. It's not that hard or complex, it's just you gotta devote the time to leveling up the skills some, because as I said, I could take f four of these extractor worlds, make a whole bunch of two products, and then put them together to make a more expensive product on a fifth world.
granted I could extract two things on a planet and build a factory there, but then you limit how much you can actually be dealing with on a world. But then there will be taxes. But we will get into that next time. So, thank you for watching.